Hi, so um, this is just a quick little video. I'm going to be starting to make real videos, but this is just in the moment because I keep on seeing a bunch of fake Michael Kors watches and people think they're real and they end up buying them or just try to pass them off as real, which I don't mind, but I'm just saying if you think it's real and you pay the money for it, then yeah, so I just kind of want to like inform you guys the differences. Um, so first off, I just bought mine from Holt Run For You. Um, so this is the packaging. Commonly the fakes, they have just a normal kind of lid that comes up to here instead of coming all the way down. And that's like right off the bat. That gives it away. Um, another thing that's usually off is that the coloring on the real ones, it's so dark that's almost black. Whereas the other ones are more of like a chocolate brown. And then when you take off the lid, right here it should say Michael Kors. And the fake ones, they don't say that. It's thin all the way around. It's not thicker here. And it doesn't say Michael Kors. And then another big, big getaway. Um, and that really does prove that it's fake. Because the fake ones just look so cheap. Is the pillow. The pillow should be this rectangular, almost square shape. And it's firm at the end. It's cardboard. But then it's like all cottony inside. Whereas the fake ones, they look like a little cushion or like a pillow. And sometimes they have the cotton hanging out. So that's a good indicator on how it's fake. Um, lastly is a booklet. Um, the front, you kind of have to pay attention to details. But in the fake ones, it's like the writing is more thinner. It's not so bold. And the color is usually a little bit off. And this is how thick the booklet is for the real one. And the fake one's like twice the size. So, yeah, that's the difference in the watches, well, in the packaging of the watches, and then when it comes to the actual watch, Michael Kors, they all do this. They do not separate. But all of the fake ones, they're the ones that separate, like, they have just a cheap little clasp and they don't stay in one tack. So that's another dead giveaway. Um, and if you're looking at a Michael Kors watch, you shouldn't be able to see any flawed like any flaws in it like everything's so perfect in it and um, there's usually like a clear kind of plastic sticker covering the face of it as well and usually it's on there so well that you can't tell it's there and another thing is on the clip it will say Michael oh, I don't know if you can see that no you can't it says Michael Kors and it also has a plastic covering so it's another giveaway because they don't want your product to come to you all damaged and people touching it and stuff so that's another dead giveaway and yeah, so that's pretty much it from my experience on what's fake and what's real. So just before you buy, if you have the chance, like if you're buying it from a store that's not like Holt Renfrew or um, Nordstrom or an actual Michael, like an authorized Michael Kors dealer, then just check for those little things if you can, just so that you're not paying the money for a real one and getting some cheap knockoff that's not worth $300. So yeah, um, I hope you take my advice and you're just more cautious before you shop. And yeah, happy shopping.